Hello everyone, welcome to MedHelp. Today we'll be learning about the lacrimal system of the eye and its basic anatomy. The lacrimal system of the eye consists of a secretory system or a secretory part and an excretory system. The secretory system consists of the main lacrimal gland which is shown right here and accessory lacrimal glands. We'll start with the main lacrimal gland first. The main lacrimal gland is shaped like an element and is situated in the fossa for the lacrimal gland at the roof of the orbit. The lacrimal gland is divided into two parts, the upper orbital part and the lower palpebral part. It is divided by the levator aponeurosis. 10 to 12 ducts leave the lacrimal gland and enter into the fornix of the conjunctiva, the upper outer fornix. The lacrimal gland consists of secretly epithelial cells and it is responsible for tear production. The blood supply for the lacrimal gland is the lacrimal artery and its venous drainage is through the superior ophthalmic vein. The lymphatic drainage is towards the preauricular lymph nodes and its nerve supply is the lacrimal nerve which is a branch of the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve. The lacrimal gland also receives sympathetic and parasympathetic nerve fiber. Next up in the secretory system is the accessory lacrimal glands. These are less important and therefore we will just mention them briefly. One of them is the glands of Krauss and the others are the glands of Wolfring. Let's move on, on to the excretory system. The excretory system of the lacrimal system first consists of the lacrimal puncti. These are two small openings, two rounding openings on the upper and lower lid margins at the inner canthus. The punctum are situated in a small on a small elevation called the papilla. It is through these lacrimal canaliculi originate these two superior and inferior canaliculi which then open into the lacrimal sac. The lacrimal canaliculi are about six or 7 mm to 1 cm or 10 mm in length. The lacrimal sac lies in a bony fossa in the anterior part of the medial orbital wall. The lacrimal fossa or this bony fossa is formed by the lacrimal bone and the frontal process of the maxilla. The lacrimal sac is about 12 to 15 mm in length and 5 to 6 mm in breadth. This lacrimal sac opens into the nasolacrimal duct. It opens into the inferior meatus of the nose and is about 15 to 18 mm long. The nasolacrimal duct opens into the inferior meatus of the nasal cavity. This is the reason why people get a runny nose when they are either crying or have teary eyes. This is it for the basic anatomy of the lacrimal system of the eye. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel.